Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Dog Recipes. Today we're making Kong Pao Chicken. It's a Sichuan classic and I love this dish. I have made this recipe at the early stage when I first started this channel. Now I'm making it again because this is going to be an upgraded recipe that the chicken is much more tender and flavorful. So let's get started. I got here two pieces of chicken breast, about one pound. We're gonna cut them into half inch cubes. The size of the chicken, we call it ji ding in Chinese. This dish was created by Ding Baozhen, a late Qing dynasty governor of Sichuan province. His title was Gong Bao, that is why we named this dish Gong Bao Ji Ding. Besides the chicken, you can do this with pork loin, shrimp, or any meat that is tender. Beef would be a bit chewy, I wouldn't recommend that. The marinade is really simple. One teaspoon of salt, some onion powder. Unlike fresh onions, the powder form has a kind of roasted caramel onion fragrance. Really nice. We're gonna also add two teaspoons of Chinese cooking wine. What I'm using is Shaoxing wine. Mix that together, let the flavors infuse to each other. Keep adding one and a half tablespoon of cornstarch and one egg white. Don't waste the egg yolk, you can use that to make my General Tso's chicken recipe. This cornstarch and egg white combination is a technique in Chinese cuisine, known as velveting. It creates a starchy layer that can preserve the moisture of the meat while cooking, which leads to a juicy, tender meat. You just keep mixing it until it gets to a creamy and velvety texture, like that. Set it aside for 20 minutes. This is Sichuan peppercorn. We call it hua jiao. The flavor is nothing like chili peppers or black pepper. It has a citrusy aroma and creates a tingly numbness in the mouth. I like to dice it with my knife or else the dish would be a bit annoying to eat when you accidentally bite a whole one. Some red dried chilies. Use scissors and cut it into these short pieces to release the flavors. You can discard the seeds if you prefer to reduce the spicy level. I want it to be hot, so I kept it. Four pieces of white part of the scallion. Cut into these half inch long pieces. Besides that, Prepare one tablespoon of garlic and one teaspoon of ginger. I got lots of people asking me, isn't carbon steel wok nonstick? Why is my food sticking onto it? First of all, carbon steel wok is not a Teflon coated wok, so it is not 100% nonstick. Second, I will show you how to use it correctly. Start with heating your wok. When you see there is smoke appearing, you can add the oil. Give it a toss so the oil covers the bottom. Wait for it to smoke again. That means the wok is hot enough. Then you can add the chicken. Spread the meat so most pieces are touching the bottom of the wok. Do not stir and flip the meat immediately or else it will stick to the wok immediately. When cooking with a carbon steel wok, you have to wait and let one side of the meat to sear. The waiting could take anywhere between 20 seconds to a couple minutes, depends on how big your flame is. Once it is nice and golden, the wok will release the food easily. Just in general, if you use the carbon steel wok correctly, you will be surprised by its beautiful performance. But the meat that we are cooking today is marinated with starch, and starchy ingredients do have a higher chance of sticking. As I am stirring, some of the starch don't have enough time to set, so you will see some little bits sticking onto the bottom. Those should come off when it gets to a golden color. If not, 10 minutes of hot water soaking will get it off. Don't need to worry about it. Carbon stew wok has a lot of cooking benefits, especially in Chinese cuisine, which I will talk about it in another video. If you're interested in buying a wok, I'll put the link in the description. Go check it out! Once the chicken is cooked and you got some nice brown color, you can turn off the heat. Take it out. 
I like to tilt the wok a little bit so the excess grease will be left in the wok. I am just drizzling a little more oil because we'll use it to stir fry the Sichuan dou ban jiang. This is what I'm using. It is also known as fermented board beans in chili oil. I'll put the Amazon link in the description. Stir this on low heat for a couple minutes so you can maximize the fragrance of the dou ban jiang. When you see all the oil becomes a red-orange color, that is the time to add the garlic, ginger, diced Sichuan peppercorns, red dried chilies, and 2 tablespoons of brown sugar. This is an extremely flavorful dish. The purpose of the sugar is to balance all the tanginess. You just stir until the sugar melts, introduce the chicken back into the wok, Keep stirring until all the spices are well mixed. Then you can add the seasonings. 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, one and a half tablespoon of Chinese black vinegar. This is what I'm using. I'll put the Amazon link in the description. If you cannot find it, balsamic vinegar can be a substitution. Drizzle in a teaspoon of dark soy sauce. It gives the food a deep, rich color. This whole wok is already looking amazing. It smells delicious too. At this point, pour in some cornstarch water and stir immediately. When the sauce thickens, throw in the toasted peanuts and the scallions. Of course, you can use other kinds of nuts. Toss everything together, taste it to adjust the flavor. Mine does need one more splash of vinegar. Give a final stir and you are ready to enjoy. You can tell by the look and by the smell. This dish is savory and intense. My mouth is watering right now. <laughs> Trust me, it's hard to help yourself. The red chilies and the hua jiao structures the spicy and numbing base. Also, the slight fermented touch from the Sichuan dou ban jiang shows the root of this dish, Sichuan cuisine. The meat is nice and tender, very flavorful. When you eat it, it's actually not as spicy as it looks because the sugar and the vinegar balanced out all the tanginess. At the end, the nutty crunch from the peanuts just complete this dish. I hope you give this a try soon. If you did, leave me a comment, let me know how it goes. A lot of you have been asking me to recommend a walk. This is the one that I have been using and started to settle. Check the link below and find out why I love it so much. Now it is the holiday season, so it's a good price. It can be a nice addition for your kitchen or a great gift for someone you love. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!